So Ken, uh, Open Mind uh, UK, we're going to obviously be at the Mac 2020 show. You were going to be uh, talking about something rather unique and something that uh, is having great results or can have great results for users of your, your software. Can you tell us about the virtual machine aspect of your product that you would have been showing? Yeah, so um, virtual machine, this is a new element to, to Hypermill where what we do is we create a digital twin of your machine and then is a, there is an element of it called optimizer. So virtual machine, first of all, we is now offering G-code simulation with Hypermill. So because we have the characteristics of your machine, we have the logic of your machine, we can then verify that G-code. And then secondary with optimizer, optimizer is then able to make decisions um, on on what that output will do, so it can solve certain um, certain issues that on certain machine types can have. So it's it's actually going beyond G code simulation. So can you give me an example then, maybe of of, of an area where this where it would work, you know, in a machining cycle? So in terms of optimizer, um, what this will do, so. Optimizer can solve certain collision situations that you may get. So just a simple scenario where you're doing some simple 2D machining on your Trunnion Star machine and you come down to one area and you may then have a collision maybe with some coolant nozzles. So what Optimizer will do, it will then automatically rotate the C-axis into a new position uh, to give you a new solution. And it does that automatically. The second thing is Optimizer is it's actually, because it knows the characteristics of your machine, it can be a lot more optimized in terms of retracts and moving from one position, you know, one operation to another operation. And that can offer you quite significant time savings. That's very, very interesting. Now, the first thing that comes into my mind here is um, when machine tool vendors are selling machines, they're, they're, they're promoting how quick they are, how fast their acceleration is, how quick their rapids are. Um, are we suggesting that there is a possibility that someone could purchase a machine and uh, that was maybe a mu much faster machine, a much more capable machine than an inferior one, but by purchasing the inferior one and adding in things like your software could actually give a similar performance? Is that possible? That is definitely possible. What you've got to remember is a machine tool is essentially it's executing instructions. So it will execute instructions, whether they're good or bad instructions. So regardless of what machine you're running, you want it to be receiving the very best instructions um, to get to so that it can work to its full capability. So with Hypermill and now with also Virtual Machine and Optimizer, you can then really you know, take, take that to the next level. Let's look at a machine in path then, for example, as a, as, as a random, if the Z axis was retracting and then you were going across in the X to go back to make a tool change. And I know this is a simplified, a simplified sort of analogy. Are we saying that instead of sort of making that movement, we're going to make that movement and that decision is going to be made by the optimizer? Yeah, exactly that. Because, because you know exactly the characteristics of the machine. Because the, the nice thing with Hypermill is you can, you can, you program independent of the machine, and that's the way we like. You know, that's the way we want Hypermill because it gives you flexibility that you can program one for one job, and maybe if that you know one machine, and if that machine goes down, you need to move the job. It's very easy for you to do that. But the real beauty is because Optimizer is automatic, you can then just run the Optimizer on one machine. You need to put it on the next machine. You just run Optimizer again. The user doesn't have to do anything. You just run Optimizer. And it then optimizes it for that machine, and it's it's far it's then far more intelligent, um, and it, it, you're really getting the best out of out of all of your machines. And there's quite a compelling uh, case study that you mentioned to me about a customer that has um, invested in several virtual machines, and on a production run, they have cut uh, the cycle time by ten percent, and they believe over a matter of time, or well, in fact, they believe that this software or this feature could could be paid for in, in around about a month. I mean, this is going to be very popular, not just for uh, Hypermill users, but people that are an, a potential new users to you as well, Ken, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that, that's definitely, definitely the case. I mean, uh, what I would stress, so this, this particular customer you mentioned, uh, they've been a customer for more than 10 years and they're very, very happy with Hypermill. Um, they, you know, they, but 
So, so they're not, they're not, they haven't been complaining to us at all. Um, but when we showed them Optimizer and what it can do, they, they immediately recognized on a, so there's a production job that's running probably till at least next year, um, that if we can save 10% and just putting our, you know, running it through just normal simulation and then taking it through Optimizer, you can physically see on the screen the, the difference and just getting the projected times out, it was a 10% savings. So, so yeah, so customers, if, if we have existing customers who are running definitely production jobs, um, looking at saving, you know, times, um, and it's, it's very easy that you don't really have to do anything. It's just put it through Optimizer. But then also if people who aren't using Hypermill, um, maybe they think they've got the job as optimized as they can. I think I would say, I would challenge them to say, well, you know, talk to us, um, look at Hypermill, and then also look at what Virtual Machine with Optimizer can do. And I'm quite sure we could offer some really significant further savings. Um, and final point, Ken, uh, does the machine matter? Does the control matter? Is there, does that have any bearing or influence on it? Or can this be adapted and utilized on, on any of those? No, not, not at all. Not a, no, you, you can. You, we, so we have developed PLCs for different controllers. Um, so no, it, it doesn't matter on, on what, what controller that you're using. We can, we can support that. 